Okay, hi guys, Cliff here. Thanks for checking us out. This is part three of the Atom Special Auto Gyro build. And um, part one and two are now up. Uh, you probably watched them. If not, I'll link to the first part at the end of this video and you can check out part one and have a look from there. And um, anyway, I've made a little bit of progress. I'll just bend you down and explain what's going on. Cheers. I've, I've put um, a sealer on the balsa wood and I sprayed some grey primarily, primarily primer, primarily on the inside because I want to hand paint this uh, and I got carried away a bit and did it on the outside as well. I've mounted the motor, I've just got to reverse the shaft so as it's sticking out the front not the back um, but I've got to form some sort of cowling, don't like leaving motors sticking out in the fresh air like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do, make something out of quarter inch sheet and basically just glue it all in there, shape it up and then mould something over the front. So that's where I am with the state of play with the fuselage. The rotor head I've assembled, I showed you the parts in part two. This is from Cool Wind, UK company. Uh, It assembles really beautifully. The delta plate, as it's called, is um, an extra. It doesn't come with the actual rotor head. This is called the Razor C30 rotor head. I'll link to it below. I'll link to the website below. You can check it out if you're interested in building an auto gyro. Uh, I've just put a bit of paint on the mast itself. The mast is going to be silver, believe it or not. I've got to put a coat of clear uh, lacquer over the top and well I've sprayed again it's got to have a coat of clear lacquer just to uh, protect it all there and what else it was something else oh yeah I've sanded the fins rudders and tailplane silver underneath yellow on the top uh, two-tone fuselage silver and yellow so I'm working on the carolin now I've put uh, got lots of bits of scrap balsa wood and just stuck it all around and I'm just about to stick this disc on and then I can start just shaping it around and when I'm happy I'll shrink a bottle over the top and then just cut this off again okay I've been outside and I've sanded the carolin a bit and I've got uh, this shape not too bad. So now I'm going to find a plastic bottle, see if I can shrink it right over the top and then I can cut it to size and move it about a bit. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. You watching? Try and distribute the heat evenly if you can. get a fairly even shrinkage. When it starts to go, it goes. That makes sense. Going at the bottom there. Okay, it's not doing anything, so the plastic is just discoloring so what I think I'll do is cut that back see if it will shrink more with less plastic around it just a long shot I think that's as good as it's gonna get oh mm -mm 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 -mm. hot 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 would be should we go back a little bit I've got to come back let's come back to about there to allow room for screws okay so that's the back edge just cut that and see what happens. Quite pleased with that. Very pleased with that actually, I've got to say. And if I need to adjust the thrust angle at all, I've got plenty of movement, plenty of uh, area here. It's not going to snag anything. I'm not putting a spinner on it. So yeah, there we are. 
let's get on with screwing some screws in and no taking the bolts off yeah screwing the screws in on this make some screw holes put four little screws in just to hold it take it off remove the bolster then I'll come back to you guys in fact probably need to go to work yes I'll need to go to work so I'll see you tonight cheers bye right I've just drilled some holes through into the plywood and mounted some screws I think it's going to be really solid once I remove the bolster which is going to be my next um, operation ah lovely okay hmm. right uh, guys I've been busy I've hinged the rudders onto the fin at both sides and put the control horns in they're not back to front that's the way they need to go because they're push pull tail assembly complete I'll take off the tissue here give it a good spike in same with this clean all the paint off of here then when it's sprayed I can glue it on just like that I've actually run a small bead of um, CA around but I plan to use canopy glue all along because what I'm doing is an um, exact replica of Little Nelly, Little Nelly, James Bond, because that was a track a pusher. This is a tractor configuration for the motor. Okay, so there you go. We'll let that set. It sits on top of the tailplane. No, bearing in mind it's going to be yellow. Are the two? Uh, what are they? These are um, flamethrower and smoke canister. They'll sit there and there. Because Bond had them on the outriggers on the plane, but mine are going to be here somewhere. If you saw my community post, you saw me doing a silly picture. Um, the rockets, underbelly rockets that sit under the belly, actually. I'm quite pleased with those. Carbon tube, some one mil ply for the fins. Weighs nothing to speak of and uh, they'll sit under the fuselage wow don't they look something and you spot a paint on and suddenly they look like missiles don't they air to air missiles in the movie the last chopper's behind bond and he fires them and they turn around and <laughs> boom i've sprayed up the fuselage and the tail uh, it's gone okay Just been uh, painting up the fuselage. I've painted on the white line. I've just painted on the black line. And now I'm going to remove the tape because it's going to be nearly ready for removal. See what it looks like. See if it's crept under anywhere. See if I've missed it. I've got a white line, as you can see. This is just one of those so sweet moments. Oops, nice. There she is, guys, mopped up. Painted the rudders. And she's sitting there. It's not fixed down yet. Just off it up. Coming on. I've just cut out some instruments from the uh, screenshot from Little Nelly and painted the interior black. And then some black bits around the back here. Now we want to place on the cowling. Line the screws up. This is the finishing touches, guys, isn't it? You know, the, the final assembly. Because I couldn't fit the peripheral 
accessories on until the gear was in really because well as you can see I'm gripping it in places where the accessories go so okay so that's the cowling on the main shaft I'm going to screw in two retaining screws actually I could put the nuts and bolts through on that one now that head is now fixed still cool winds beautiful I can't get over the quality of this is this this lovely sort of satin finish gorgeous I have um, a little bit of news to tell you guys um, I was hoping that this part, part three, would have seen the model finished, uh, but I haven't started the rotor blades yet. Uh, so there will be a fourth part. However, before I fly this model, uh, I've very kindly been sent um, another auto gyro by Pete Millwood. Let me show you. He's actually got, he bends you down, one of these funny little uh, autogyros. What's it called? The Lupo. Um, he tried flying it, he broke it, he didn't get on with it. It's not his bag. Did I want it? Yes. So what I'm thinking is I might, it just needs a small repair. Repair this one and see how I get on with it because the um, Atom is now a lot nicer than it was originally intended to be. So I'm going to repair this one. It's just got a broken fin and bits and bobs, but essentially it's ready to go. Uh, it's a rotor head. It's cheap plastic, horrible compared to the Cool Wind one. But of course it does the job. So I'm going to repair this and I'm going to have a go at flying the Lupo. In the meanwhile, I'll make the blades for the Atom. Then I should be proficient in auto gyro flying uh, to confidently test fly the Atom. So that's my plan. You won't see the Atom test floor flown uh, for a week or two because I'm going to have a go at this one. But if I can get my uh, hand in on this one, then I should stand a pretty good chance of flying the Atom. So, thanks for watching. It's been a blast. Um, I'll put a picture up here of what I've done so far. Uh, you can see the fuselage is finished. I can't connect up the rotor head yet. Oh, I suppose I could actually. Anyway, um, it's basically finished all bar the blades. So I shall get on with the blades, repair the Lupo, get that one flying, see how I go, and then um, I can then do the flight video for the Atom. That's uh, how it is. That's what I'm going to be doing. And hit the little uh, thumbs up button. <laughs> Sorry, that's a thumbs down button hit the thumbs up button down below and uh, give the video a like. It helps with the analytics and it is appreciated. So I'll see you in part four, I guess, of the Atom. Thanks guys. Cheers.